Today the clean-up has concluded and restoration has begun. But while the Pacific region's leaders sought to restore democracy in Fiji, democratic reform in Tonga was well off the Pacific Forum agenda. With respect to Tonga, what's your mm -hmm. interpretation of steps toward democracy here? My understanding is that the recent uh, meetings of the tripartite group which has been working on the new constitution have gone quite well and they're really getting close to agreement on what the future shape of the constitution should be. We, are, we interviewed um, Prime Minister Helen Clark this morning in New Zealand and she said, um, Selwyn asked her a question, do you think what's, what's happening in pro democracy and she said, or, or towards the constitution or towards some, some democracy and she said she thought the progress was being made. And, what would you say to her? We expect those leaders to be to have that kind of uh, diplomatic uh, uh, butter up. Yeah, <laughs> butter up. Did you say? Yeah, 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 that's what I say. Yeah. But that's not the true case here in Tonga. What do you need, uh, Helen Clark? Like, for example, the New Zealand Prime Minister, what would you wish she would do? We have to comply because we are all members of the Commonwealth of Nations and also United Nations. There are principles there about the political uh, movement. We want to support the principle. If we are going to, if we are diverting from the from the trend, it is up to them to propose Ketong out because it doesn't comply with the principle. were determined to keep foreign media well away from the leaders, so Scoop headed to the island of Vava'u, where the Pacific Forum leaders' retreat was to be located. There we set to put one question to Tonga's Prime Minister, Fred Savelli. Do you feel the steps toward democratic reform inside Tonga will come fast enough for the people to want here? Uh, we are Tonga. We didn't discuss Tonga in the, in, the, in the forum, so let's restrict ourselves to the forum. But as far as Tonga is concerned, we have had a constitution for 132 years. The decision to go uh, with the political reform was taken by His Majesty, Late Majesty, in 2004. The only now in 2007. The government, Parliament has agreed to election under the reform uh, structure, continuation of the political reform in 2010. Now, in the context of Tonga's history, that is very, very fast. But let's do it properly. As MBs, we've been trying hard I mean, to uh, negotiate with them, you know, what happened. And yeah. they said, no, we have to wait until uh, <coughs> the court decided that whether we are guilty or not for what they right. came as for all the things that happened on the 16th, 11th. Are you a Yeah, that's what they said. And we we think, and we still think that they uh, they were the ones who started it. You know, it's archival, but uh, in yeah. court we decide what's going to happen. You know? And since the uh, 16th, 11th, all the common officials, uh, reception, cocktails, and things like that, even they, they've never invited us I mean, MPs for anything, yeah. you know, up to now. If we look back 10 years ago and compare what it was like in Tonga then to what it is like now, what, how would you describe the difference? It's getting worse. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Inflation up. Corruption is mounting up. What it's ways is, how, how is the corruption? display itself. Display? 
how does the corruption... What is the corruption? What is it? What type of corruption? Well, misuse of public fund, yeah. nepotism, favoritism. It is so used there. So and not only that, because we have to, uh, the priority in every country is education and health. Their budget is going down. Where's that money going to? Might be going to the military, to the defence. I've uh, issued a statement today on the support the uh, New Zealand government's going to be given to a private sector reconstruction facility uh, for loans in Tonga. Uh, when the Prime Minister Tonga came down to New Zealand uh, several months ago, he raised with both Winston Peters and me the problem they were having getting key commercial infrastructure rebuilt in downtown Nukalofa. There has, uh, since the riots, been in place a lending scheme for small and medium-sized uh, businesses, and quite a lot of loans have been taken up under that. 